You see, zero may yep. cry, zero may cry, uh, mirrors, all that stuff. Here we go, my friends, though. It is time. Zio Pepe has played in a couple of online Warriors events, taking 5th place and 17th place. Uh, Kasuga, of course, has played in plenty of online Warriors and got 7th uh, place excuse me, at the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour. That was the last chance qualifier. 33rd at Bum's birthday bash. And these two have played once before at the online Warriors number 13. Kasuga took that 2-0. So, a little bit of an in-tournament run back right here. Zio Pepe on the player 1 side. Kasuga repping the Kefla on the player 2 side. No sack! That android's not perfect! Who's on the bill? I was paid for this! This is my arena! What the hell, Kakarot? We're, we're back to the, the old show. We got the, the 21 back in the building, and now let's see if the, the longer set uh, actually ends up uh, helping out Zio Pepe in here rather than getting just too owed. But Kefla immediately finding an opening on Kasuga's side, and now. Let's see what he can do with these two assists, but oh, Zio Pepe with the empty vanish into the 2S and, or the JS, and just finding an opening. Beautiful stuff. There we go. We're going to get the knockdown set up into that Ghost Oki. Popped off a little bit too hard. My apologies, friends. I'm going to tone it down just a hair. And uh, Zio Pepe gets the hit. Full combo as well. All of that coming down. I even stood up. I like walked away from the mic to yell across the room. <laughs> Alrighty, and now Jaren able to find that first character. Now let's see what this pressure. He, he he's got some insane pressure block strings now that he can put in, but. Kasuga knowing, knowing the matchup, going for those uh, those reflects when necessary, and Zio Pepe not finding that conversion after that uh, snipe. And now, let's see Kasuga sending the man down into the corner. Level three, what's the mix? What is the mix? Is there any mix with this one? This goes around to jump. Zio Pepe had plenty of time to jump up. We had a happy birthday, but we didn't convert. Zio Pepe didn't have spark to make that conversion happen, so probably not much they could have done there overall. Now, take him up into the sky. Extensions as well, tons of meter. The full Jiren spin into the stare at him. Look at him. Ghost Oki. No need. We're just going to dump it. And there we go. Alrighty. Android 18 in the anchor position. Going to have to get out of the the super punch pressure and now has got has got a good bit of uh, a good bit of bar so you know can definitely call it her brother plenty of times and looking for that so let's see what strings he can get going looks for oh my lord that was invisible DR. that was yeah. invisible zio went for the reflect trying to get out of that situation we call 17 don't use him for the oki just oh my god the snipe with the jm I don't think Kasuga has the kill here, though, just because of the scaled starter. Goes for a setup instead. Oh, my. Time out, kids. Time out. Put him in. Sit down. Think about what you've done. That was Still great. Go for that scoop, and he's he's got the uh, the sparking as well. And now, ooh, 2M. It's going to be a lot of damage. If you got hit. Yeah, press one if you got hit, indeed. Zio Pepe gonna take this medium starter combo all the way through. We get the setup into Krillin. Oh, this is gross because now you're a little closer. This is invisible. This is truly invisible. Oh, goes for the spark bait and the spark doesn't even come out. Still just gets caught by the stagger on the 5H and just absolutely destroyed. Destroyed. There was a counter hit in there too, so I think it was possible that Kasuka was trying to 2H, thinking that the overhead was going to come through, right? They made a read and just happened to be wrong right there. The Android 18 started to stabilize, demonstrating that power she has as an anchor in the game. You want to approach her to close out the game, but she just builds the Great Wall of Barrier, and it's so hard to approach it. She's just taking free resources to send a level 3 your way. Great stuff there. Kasuka was trying to hold on. Can see if there's a team mix up or not. Has the Majin 21 in that central spot? You know, Team Waifus. <laughs> team Waifus versus uh, the attempt at Team Baldies, I guess. Uh, but, you know, go Team, team Forehead. Yeah, team Forehead. There you go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Team forehead, right? You know, just a bunch of short dudes. Here we go. Nice tech on the dragon rush. But we get caught, bro. How did that vacuum down? I, That's so I, sick. I have no clue. I thought he caught two there for a second, and I was like, this is about to be scary, but not, not quite. With oh, but the... we dropped the combo. It's unfortunate. Oh, it, barrier. It, 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 blocked. Barrier. He's going to get blocked, though. He should be safe after the cap level one, though. Yep. Zeo Pepe not even trying to go for anything, just backs off, says, all right, I'm just going to take my neutral gift and retreat, but there it is, barrier. Kasuga actually running the barrier assist with Android 18 instead of that destructo disc assist that you see a lot of players use, and that works out great for them. Right, Kasuga's oh. been using that barrier for for ages, so definitely you know, can opens up a lot of mix with Kefla especially, so definitely like that choice and just... Flies in the opening off of the Majin 21 assist. All right, bring him down. No level three. Trying to spin out. Level one to punish. Oh my lord. Okay. Kasuga trying to play crack. Not too happy about the result of that last game. And now the whole team's in there. A super dash to deal with the 2S zoning. But we drop the combos now. Kasuga <laughs> trying to get layers. Pepe gets caught in pressing. Full combo here from Majin 21. Should be dead. And opts for the Saiyan grab steal. Do not approach this character in the air. She will lay hands upon you. Yeah, well, Curlin has has no you know no plans on doing that. He's gonna shoot out that plasma. See how out of the screen and finds an opening for himself off one of those key blasts. All right, here we Ooh. go. It's time for Zio Pepe to make this comeback. Beautiful tech on the Dragon Rush. The pressure looking fantastic. No conversion off that Kamehameha. Oh, here we go. And now, all of a sudden, Zio Pepe takes down Majin 21. Krillin just says, what are all of you doing? My wife is over there. Let me see her. Bring him down. Level three. Zio Pepe holds Spark. Is that mix terrifying enough? Kasuga does have the barrier to cover Mash. I think I think you might as well just use the Spark here. Oh, ooh, that okay. could have been a bait. The double dash just gets behind the Kamehameha this time. And ooh, doesn't quite get the follow up though. And Kasuga's really looking for these dashes, but this time getting caught out. The re jump is good. So this is a very dead Kefla. Absolutely is dead. An unfortunate drop. He's going to spend the level three scatter shot. It's date night time. My bay team. <laughs> and here we go. Marital dispute. Live on stream. They're having a fight. What's for dinner tonight? So they're trying to figure out. Oh, Krillin! Making a case. Yeah, the empty vanish was looking kinda nice, but that 5M is looking better. Keep it simple, and now Kasuga gonna tie up the series one to one. And uh, are we gonna have a, another back and forth sex? <laughs> We're definitely gonna have mix. mix. We're definitely going to have that one. We could very well just be on the way there. Not quite sure, but uh, as usual, the woman wins the argument. Classic, just life. So Kasuga with the team wife who's able to just coast on that property. But th th this set's going to be intense, my lord. We're It's 1-1 again. This time, though, we go to seven games, my friends. The undercard title gets a first to five set. The exhibition match is a first to seven. So instead of us capping and peeking out at nine games, we could be looking at 13 games. Mm. It's like a World Series of Baseball for us American fans. <laughs> there we go again. How to plug in the U.S. of A. Let's go. Kasuga <laughs> starting off with some zoning. Ooh. Ooh. Was looking out for that. He had the rocks and the 2 H just ready. Krillin looking like Tien with that open third eye, man, just catching that dash. Absolutely unreal. <laughs> Welcome uh, to Dragon Ball I... Fighters, my friend. Oh, the air guard cancel. No, Bandai. Okay, I don't care about anything else. Just remove that Bandai, please. That's all I want. Just see yeah, how I will. I, I will let you have everything else. I do not care anymore. <laughs> Oh, this mix is coming in. Kasuga doing a good job locking so far, mm, but it. Rock. thought it was the rocks. Rock it turns out it was just a sensu bean, and I don't know how intentional that was from from <laughs> Pepe, but my lord, it looks so calculated. It looks so planned. 
Pepe gets the next hit. Gonna see the launch off of the Beyblade. JH for the knockdown. Ghost Oki. Watch your head, watch your toes. And there it is. Catcher in the locks. Zio Pepe on a warpath right now. Bring him down. We got the link. Fantastic routing here. Should be actually a dead character. Yep, still has the swap in. And uh, yeah, Jiren does. Jiren and Krillin do a lot of damage with their level one. So closing it out with that 1 1 1. 1 1 1 indeed. And Kasuka down to Kefla. It's looking like a bit of a wash here in game three. It's able to snipe Jiren though with the cannonball. And now we're just trying to find like the next hit. Side cross up. The rocks. Oh, but we're missing these confirms. <laughs> Sehan oh, just... turning turncoat in chat like I'm done. Let's go back there. <laughs> it's like Kasuga, you view trolling, fine. I'm not supporting a troll. Bring him down. Level three, spend the cash. Yep, spend the cash. Hey, Kasuga still got the sparking. It's 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 looking long, but it's not, you know. It's definitely still possible. The raw tag swaps in the Jiren. Let's see. All right, and now the stagger game. Counter, and I like it. Kasuga just disengages, does not want to play this RPS. Pepe trying to close this game out now. This is an assist starter, but with the sparking and with Krillin being able to do several level ones with the Destructo Disc, might be able to see the kill right here. In fact, I think we will. Ghost, double Destructo Discs, and then Jiren. No, we're just going to send all the pizzas. Meat lovers, supreme pepperoni, <laughs> cheese, stuffed crust, and of course, Hawaiian for that one weird guy in the back. That is what Krillin sent, and that is game three over to Zio Pepe. Kasuga, man. You gonna, I, we gonna switch I, I up pizzas? I, I don't think Pepe can throw can throw Hawaiian pizzas. He, he's, he's, he's Italian. <laughs> I, I feel like he would just get instantaneously, like... Exiled from the country. <laughs> Those are the pizzas he decided to throw at him. But it's like you, you will dishonor me. At him. <laughs> you, will, you, you will dishonor the family. Listen, like no, go, 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 be, go, be American pig. I think I got a little too Russian there. I kind of blended the accents together. But here we go, game number four. Zio Pepe up one. The overhead from Kefla strikes. And now Kasuga starting up the offense. We bait out. Okay, we stop the uptech. There it is. The EX counter. Krillin rock assist for the confirm. It's all blue life damage. So Zia Pepe gets the knockdown. Chases the uptech correctly. High low. This is real. And we respect the low threat. Oh, we oh, dash out. I love that. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Don't want to mash, especially against that counter. And But... It's going to be a good chunk of damage, you know, not going to be able to build any bar for a finisher, but beautiful staggers once again, and this Kefla in the dirt immediately. The one thing, whenever Krillin Rock Assist is available, you just have to respect it. It covers such unique angles. It's so quick out there, and a person can just cover Wake Up with it fairly easily. The run-up DR from full screen is going to catch Kasuga's Majin 21. See, yo, Pepe, you got four bars. We spending it? Yes! He gets some pretty solid mix off this, as far as I believe as well. And there's Ooh. the 2M. Good chonky damage now. And uh, Kasuka's getting, getting washed a little bit. Thrown into the shower. As the shampoo and conditioner being applied to all of the waifus, luscious locks. See, your Pepe just in. Oh, look at that. Like, you can't. How do you approach that? Man, man says, hit me. I said hit me, and then Krillin's like, yeah, hit him! Oh, the oh. key blast on Wake Up? Okay, Kasuga. We're gonna intercept the punches. Try to go for a setup. Pepe's gonna escape. Just showcasing a bunch of Gotenks movement options with all the special cancels. Oh, that could've been gross! Looks for it, but, uh... Hey, spin to win, right? That's, that's what we learned. <laughs> uh, that is what we learned, you know? And look at all this meter that Pepe was able to build with the Gotenks combo and sparking. It's going to be another dead Kasuga. And Ghost of Pizza's past. Pepe takes a 3-1 lead here in our exhibition match on Wanted. This is, this is kind of cooking like an upset right now. And everybody, the accusations in chat, they're standing <laughs> right now when it comes to Kasuga's play. They are standing. Can he beat the allegations?
that's the question here as we go into the next game. Wonder if he's gonna switch up the team. Everyone, everyone's telling him to in chat. Let's see. Let's see if he listens or if he if he wants to oh! stick and really switches no. up the team. Here we go. Lab code 21 is what people have been asking for. And more interestingly so as well, she's running the B assist, the barrier assist. Kasuga just wants all shields all day. The more bar barriers, the better, right? Like, you know, you... <laughs> Oh, Am gets a happy oh, my. immediately on the Just barrier! Just for $5.99, my friends, you too can get the easiest happy birthday confirms on this side of the galaxy. Lab Coat 21, the happy birthday specialist, invite this Lab Coat to your next birthday party for $5.99, my friends. It's time for a ha I heard the level three. kasuga has got the left right. Goes over the throw oh. and Pepe just jumps it. C beam assist catches. Really strong starter from Kasuga, you know, obviously, happy birthday, Krillin in the dirt already, and now 17 gets tagged in, and that's a dead alien as well, so it's, that was just Gotenks, but he's got the spark, he's got lots of damage, he's got the combo roots, he's got the Oki, let's see what he can do. You were right. Oh, we get the punches, frame trap, but no combo, but the 5LL forbidden starter, Kasuga waking up with the mash. Now Pepe, full combo extension. Oh, gorgeous stuff. The auto com my lord, what are these routes? They drop is what they are. <laughs> you get, you get a little too saucy sometimes, uh, you know. All Lost of the, in the sauce. Oh my Options. gosh, okay, Ka Ka Kasuga is awake, reacting to that beam with the level three. It is gonna force Zio Pepe spark, so all the damage is gonna be healed, but more importantly, we set the message. And we force the spark on the defense early, so that's going to stem me some of this comeback potential. A barrier on his wake up. Uh, I, you, it's a read, man. It's a read. You're like, you're going to mash here, and I've got a barrier to to make sure I don't get hit by any of it. And oh, gets I believe that was an empty low and beautiful stuff from Casca. The sparking timer is going to keep Pepe alive, I believe, just barely. Yep, yep and with, uh, oh my lord, we're safe, right? Yep. Send a message. I'm debuffing you. I'm debuffing your play. This is the team. This is, this is my series team. <laughs> Tweens and twinks alike, just come on out to wreck havoc with barriers, baby. Oh my lord. What, what a turnaround from Casca. Granted, the happy birthday, when you get that full confirm, it's just like, you're already kind of thinking, all right, next game. You got it, next game. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, next game. And yeah, it was just immediately too, right? It was just like, oh, you started, ma you matched on my barrier and I'm playing lab coat? Well, this is this is free. <laughs> this, 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 this be free, this be free. All right, let's see how things progress here in the next game. Interestingly enough, Kasuga running the point. Oh my, <laughs> what's the... <laughs> barrier into you can't interact with this team you just can't because it's from one barrier to another barrier man it's just it's double wrapped that's crazy oh my lord bring him down no 2h we got counter hit instead oh. blue beat yeah and see this pr this team just proves that bear down players you know they're they're just wrong right like you, yeah, you yeah. have In three trambles. barriers no yeah. reflect that's a, okay, that's the one thing. Y'all ain't even taking advantage of the nerfs Bandai has given us, man. We can reflect out of that shit. Like, that, that's a punish. Like, that would have been like a happy birthday starter if you reflected out of that, caught the 17 at the ankles of the 2M. We all got to train ourselves to do that, man. We can't keep letting her get away with this. We just can't. <laughs> we just can't. It has to end. And for Pepe, turnaround, winning that point where Kasuga not really having a lot of meter because of that uh, nerf to Labco 21. Pepe's gonna get the next combo started. Yep, coast to coast almost. Jiren has a pretty decent corner carry. Gets him back into the corner. Has the vanish to keep himself safe from that barrier initially. More stagger pressure and Kasuga decides to mash, finds the timing and has plenty of bar isn't able to get the level three off that but pepe gonna oh. take his turn back the c assist gonna snipe him across the map and now it's gonna be more mix for pepe 
Yep, no EX after image though for the left right, so this is namely just high low. We block that second option. Kasuga is gonna spark out now, wants to keep 18 and 17 alive. And Pepe just doing 5M, 2M stuff. I was uh, looking at the Evo top six, like that was a lot of reasons why Nitro was dropping. He was setting up the 5M with 18, but not really like anticipating an air hit, right? Like not going for like 5M, 2H, 5M, 5H, right? You know, we're not privileged like Vegeta who can do 5S and then go, is it 2H or 5H now? Like he just has that time. So yeah, I can, I can press whatever I want. <laughs> I, pre I press what I want when I want. I'm a fusion. <laughs> I'm Indeed. Goku and Vegeta. <laughs> oh, Alright, here we go. The spark bait, the not gonna sparking. catch. But no but, follow up. Oh my god, the micro walkout by Kasuga. That was so clean! Absolutely beautiful. Spends the bar once again. Level 3. Looks for the Oki. Sparking's used. You can't take your turn back, and that shimmy finds the opening. And I mean, you know what, I know we saw counter hit, but honestly, that could have been a Dragon Rush tech attempt. And Kazuko was like, yo, I know you're trying to tech right now, but hold this button. Like, real strike throw. Dragon Ball, baby. We made it happen. It's 2023. We finally got it. Here we go. Bring him down. Rock for the setup. And Kazuko just wakes up into Krillin's hands. This is a dead 17. Not sure what Kazuko was going for. I didn't see a counter hit notification. Was he just trying to jump? Did he not get an option that he wanted? Like, miss time reflect. So many questions. Maybe, maybe, we'll, we'll never know. But now, we've got the 18 by herself, three bars, not that much health to work with. Krillin with the mix, finds it with the super dash in the end, actually. And, 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 uh, and, and he comboed the fake cross-up. He did not drop it, he secured the victory, nothing else to see here. And I mean, okay, Kasuga got that happy birthday once they switched to the team. Looks like that was the, the crux of that, right? Like, that I was like, oh, I see. If you don't have your birthday, me, like, I, I got a chance here. But, I mean, still, I mean, shouts to Zio Pepe, though, for able to fight their way through all those barriers. That was such an effective <laughs> game plan. And I like that, again, Kasuga's just not interacting with Jiren RPS. He's just like, okay, gave up your turn. I'm gone later. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, yeah, I'm going to leave. I'm going to throw the barrier up and just walk away slowly. <laughs> no, uh, au revoir, as it were. Here we go. Game... Seven, Zio Pepe just needs to win three more games to close this out. Kasuga needs to find some momentum somehow, some way. Ah! What do you mean that beats the beam as well? I thought that was Key Blast of <laughs> One too many beams. Press one. Ghost if you got chase it. it. The overhead catches Labco 21. Put her in a hearse. Make her dead like the cannon. Bring him down. Should be the Jiren tag in for the Dragon Rush. Level one is going to be enough. Up a cut. All right, now we got the siblings left on the side of Kasuga, and just I think this this shell has done a little bit better than the the last one, but it's still looking rough. Pepe is uh, definitely putting in work. Yep, and now here comes Jiren Staggers. Kasuga finds the moment to press. And I like it. They're not trying to take their turn back at the start of the round. They're trying to take it in the middle of the Staggers. Beautiful 2H Kasuga trying to dial in their focus. Bring him down. A little bit of extension here as well. Level 1, level 1 is enough. So goes stabilizing here, able to take down Jiren. It's now Krillin and Gotenks versus 17 and 18. I think, I think Krillin and Gotenks is probably one of the strongest shells in the game, but very, very mechanically demanding, both characters. So definitely hard on the hands, but definitely very strong with that mix. Just, just so potent. Light, like, and here we go. <laughs> It worked out. But oh, we dropped the combo at the very end. Kasuga gets out. That's a medium starter. We should be seeing this end in Android 18, level 3. Keep the combo short. Kasuga now threatening the left, right, 50 50. Don't. Oh! Oh! It dropped. How did drop? Why did that drop? I, like I don't know. Oh, it, the back dash gets caught by, I believe, a 5M. And now this is going to be 
a bro? lot of damage. The spin into a beam cancel, bruh. I need to show that to my boy, Inja. He, he would eat that up. Barrier bait. And look at that! Pepe waits out the barriers, gets the forbidden starter for himself. Bring him down into the shout cancel regium. Shout out to my boy, Silver Tabby, for discovering that. Man played Gotenks for a week, found revolutionary tech. That's crazy. Bring him down. Gonna send him pizzas. Oh, but... Okay. A drop for a drop. 18 gets to live. Oh, just five M's that barrier doesn't get punished. Looks for the snipes and finds it across the screen. And now it's just the 17. And uh, I don't, I don't think he's gonna do too much in this situation. No. And now we'll have to see, right? No spark. But 17 has seven bars of meter, so plenty of things to threaten. You gotta imagine the Kasuga is looking for opportunity to potentially punish one of these. The uh, errant beams from Pepe with a level three. What I say? What did I say? And not only that, it's a happy birthday. Pepe has to spark. Yeah. <sighs> oh. Okay. We get the hard knockdown. Damage, now you need the hit. But... Okay. The thing is, Krillin's not going to die. Gotenks is regenerating in the back. Does Kasuga want a vanish tag? No. He just wants to keep the offense rolling. He's trying to make it work. He spent six bars a meter. Barely has any damage on Krillin to show for it, but he did force out Pepe's spark. That is um, honestly great if you're in Kasuga's position right now. You don't have to worry about that resource being blown to guarantee the kill on you. Tries to super dash over, but we are grounded and we have anti airs. Yep, Krillin's 2H might be stubby, but it's still a 2H. <laughs> still a 2H. Still beats super dash from full screen. And again, Kasuga, it's slipping away. He's sitting only at two wins under his belt. Zio Pepe, I believe, has just crossed to five wins. Just needs two more. We're going to have to see what Kasuga does right here. Yeah, it's, it's looking rough for Kasuga, but... Team switch up again. Let's see if we can find a, a way to... Beat this very, very strong team. Very, you know, new season, new team, like just very strong core team. And now going back to right, the Kefla, but picking well, up the lap goat this time. Yep, so dropping 17. Instead wants to play Kefla up first, and Pepe once again getting off started strong here. And Kasuga actually losing the pink square here as well, which, you know, mark of pride more than anything. Doesn't mean anything. But hey, there you go. Pepe just constantly taking the turns back. Because, you know, you can't do anything out of that situation. Krillin Rocks would check you if you try to throw it, right? So, Kasuga just has to respect. We're plus on block. We go for a mix-up, and we find the next hit. Kasuga's patience is paying off. Yep, and now you, you've got the lab coat as well in that, you know, that second position. So, you know, you don't get... Hopefully, don't get blown up like you did last time. And now... Maybe able to find something, but we this walk. mix is strong. We walk into the oh, raw the tag. The baby caught on the other side. Been on him. High low. What's the mix? We go low again. Kasuga trying to hold on, but finally cracked in the dome. Looking tall, girl. Maybe you should take those heels off. And I think might be able to build this third bar. Oh, no, not, not if we drop. Overhead's gonna catch. Pepe went out swinging. Now Costco should be able to tag out this lab coat 21. Brings in the Android 18 for the 50 50. No spark for Pepe. You just gotta guess. Heads or tails? And we were wrong. Yeah, still just always one of the hardest mix ups to block and just Beyblades out of there does not want to deal with any of that pressure after that string and still gets sniped out by Super Dash. Now Jared, four bars in the driver's seat. Let's see what he can do. I can see right here, Kasuga, this is the first time they've had a lead in a couple of games now in the 17 barrier call from Android 18. Actually able to stemmy the offense. We're gonna get the full extension right here. Three bars again. Do it to him one more time. Run it back. It is a 50 50, so let's see. We're wrong on the last one. Ah. Fake cross up. Fake cross up. And now Krillin versus the world, the harem. 
We get the initial pickup. Domestic abuse in Kaos. Full combo as well. We get the corner. Now this is scary, right? Because now we're at Krillin Rocks in the best position with the after image. Oh, and smart from Kasuka. Steals the corner, but... You know, not quite able to call out that sparking was here in that corner, so definitely a risk he wanted to take because he is so far behind now, and Casca able to capitalize off of it, but two dropped combos. Three just... dropped combos. All right, it's just... And he, he converted all of them. They all coalesced into just intentional resets, you know? In fact, I would dare say that they was were American resets, the land of drop opportunities. All right, Kasuga back Indeed. on the board. <laughs> Kasuga back on the board, and we saw them actually as well uh, pull out the Android uh, Labco 21A assist. When they played the 17 team, they had the barrier assist, right, for Labco up front. But now that she's in the mid spot, they'd rather have that spin. It's still a good assist. It still has uh, great use in scrambles, being key blast immune. It's fast. It's got really good range to it. Um, but the one thing about it is that you kind of get more into RPS situations with um, it being reflectable now when you're in the middle of it because it's a key blast property so kind of makes things a little bit different but you can honestly use that to your advantage in some ways another happy birthday but this is kefla we don't hold those yeah i, I thought i thought she caught him and i was like oh god please i was like this is gonna be another uh, another game robbed away by happy birthday but kefla putting in work uh, gonna find the third bar he it should be some more mix or no Gonna go for 1 1 1. Oh, and it's enough. God, that is just a dead Jiren. Again, the value of that A assist from Lapco 21, able to let Kasuga extend the combo just to secure the kill, just to have enough resources, enough damage on. What a 2 H. Kasuga is awake. I've been saying it a few times, but I think this giant, he's now walking. 5 M to blow up the mash. Playing RPS off of that. And now Zio Pepe is going to be put immediately into an anchor situation. And there's three full sticks of celery on Kasuga's side. Yep. And yeah, it's, it's spooky for for this Krillin. Oh, but just an immediate 5H. Just sends him to the other side of the stage and says, nah, get, get out of here. Builds all of that bar, cashes out for the level three, has got the spark on his side as well if he wants to do some weird shenanigans, and there's the mix you can't see. And Pepe takes down the first character pretty convincingly and quickly. Mm -hmm. Cost him four and a half bars, or three and a half, excuse me. Now Kasuga gets the next hit. The wife doesn't appreciate how her husband's hitting on her friends. Now, bring him down, empty low. Same side, but we block it. We do not intercept that with a 2H, though. And no conversion there either, but here's the barrier. We try to time a punish, not quite there. The walkout in reaction to the IAD. Kasuga is playing immaculately, but Pepe is just showing off some amazing grill in gaming, my lord. Yeah, it was a beautiful feint away, charging that kind of right at the end, able to find the conversion as well, just beautiful stuff and now sparking is out but still has got plenty of bar to work with Casca says eh, you don't have sparking let me let me pull out my sparking maybe get something going but the 5ms clash and Krillin wins it out Krillin wins it out my lord it comes down to this he's almost on the verge of making this 1v3 comeback happen and you can see now Pepe is just throwing out only Kamehamehas. It's Labco 21. We can't mess around with those Keyblasts anymore. Not against this character, but the low catches. Pepe wiggled at the very moment. This was the check. This was Kasuga's trump card. And it's going to get Kasuga in a very important win on the board. I think it's their second one in a row now. And it's only 5-4. Pepe's sitting there waiting for Kasuga to catch up to make this a you best should. of three. Brock. Rock all. <laughs> Rock all. <laughs> Tokita, words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. Block all. Mash super if they drop. <laughs> Tokita. But yeah, um, definitely great stuff. Uh, really, I was like, make, it, make Costco sweat for that, la that last game. Uh, definitely getting a little, a little, a little close, but uh, definitely still...
you know, you really got to make your, your opponents work for it when, when it is such a dominant showing at the beginning. So, uh, you know, good stuff to Pepe there. And Casca finally pulling out this team and hopefully getting back into into the comfort. Seems so. I mean, it's the same opening gambit from Kasuga. We able to fade back, use the 18 barrier to then start off with a 5M starter. And we jail him down. Nice tech on the Dragon Rush, though. Pepe showing off that defense, but we didn't believe in the Super Dash hit. So it was get scary. We were mashing that 2H, and we're mashing that drop as well. Pepe's going to be hitting themselves for that one. Oh, my lord. The overhead. And we get a combo. Gorgeous. But yep, do we actually have the overhead. meter build? Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, we do. Tag. We get the Dragon Rush. Level one, level one. Pepe loses Jiren. All because they didn't convert off of the C assist pickup that Gotenks offered. So, definitely one of those things where you're a little sour about that one. But we have to see if Pepe is going to be able to stabilize starting with his Gotenks instead of having to wait for Krillin. <laughs> nipping him, nipping him, nipping him. Yeah, just hey, getting a little greedy, want, wanting some meter from that barrier block of those key blasts, and uh, Pepe finds an opening afterwards, gets a reset as well, with another EX Super Miracle Punch, and uh, Labcoat not doing, not doing so hot in that matchup. <laughs> not at all, and again, Pepe actually able to start stabilizing with the Gotenks, I feel like that's going to be hugely important if they want to go into set point here. Plus frames, 6M, just take the turn back. Tech on the DR, both players' defense has been incredible this game. A lot of tech options, a lot of blocks here and there, and a lot of active defensive choices as well, right? Like we're seeing the players sometimes getting caught with a mash, sometimes getting caught by a 2H press, but that's the name of the game. If I'm gonna be right, let me be really right. Oh, we just did a good part. And once again, I tell you, those Setsu beans are on purpose. He's just he's baiting out Reflex, baiting stuff out to, you know, baiting out reversal options there. Yeah, doing a great job of it. Kotang's go. getting his turn back. Gonna keep this pressure just going and finally finds the hit. I felt like Costco was, was blocking that Gotenks for almost a whole minute. <laughs> Well, you can't block forever. Kazuga runs out of that patience, tries to make a read on what Pepe might have gone for, but he's the 5L starter and now is in the Krillin mix. I feel like the situation where Kazuga might spark, so do we see a bait? No, we just commit to it. Kazuga holds. And now it is Android 18 1v2 situation against Krillin and Gotenks. This is doable. She's got 7 bar. She's going to call Big Bro, Little Bro, Twin Bro. One, uh, I see, we got hit. <laughs> Shouts to Luffy in the chat. Here we go, bring him down, left, right, and we eat the overhead. We went for the tick throw, but because he got hit by layer one, it couldn't work. That's so unfortunate. Kostic was too big brained. Ooh, gets down to the ground and be, is able to punish that Krillin, and now this will. I think basically get rid of the the rest of the sparking timer has a spark mm -hmm. of his own and now ooh same side gets blocked same side yeah Pepe able to block it this time and cost man if Costco switched the timing on the their throw attempt oh my we were able to 2h out of that super dash that's crazy bring him down go tanks level three okay go tanks. I think we got screen position to possibly do left hit. right with the Beyblade. Now we're in the corner, nice and solid. It's high low. Or oh, it's a spark break! No, oh, oh, but it's a drop of too Have enough dash. The 2H gets blocked! And the 2H on the other side. Krillin died at the happy Mix. birthday. Mix. And this is Mix. enough damage. Mix. Good we stuff, were... it connects. And yeah, that's. That was wild. <laughs> Oh, he's still alive! What? Not enough damage, even with the limit break and the sparking. I am surprised. I love this from Pepe, just chilling, waiting for that spark timer out. Kasuga had no meter to go for it. Now, plus frames. How did you tech that Kasuga? One touchy! It's one touchy one! Both sides are suspected. We got 90 seconds on the clock. Vanish up, Vanish! You committed when he had meter! You committed when he had meter. Oh my god. Oh. The pressure the pressure gets all of us. I, I'm sitting here sweating. I'm not even playing. Imagine being the guy who has to be like, 
and now I vanish. <laughs> oh my lord, what a... That, that, that was crazy. Important win for Kasuga. Denies set point for Zio Pepe and then ties up the set 5-5. It is first to two, my friends. It is tournament set time. We are sweating in the real bracket. My God. Yep, 5-5. Five, five. We thought, you know, Pepe was running away with it at one point. 5-2, and now the script has surely changed. Pepe has uh, not done the greatest against this shell now, and uh, Kasuka is getting back, again, getting back into his comfort zone with this team. Yeah, no, he is just coming out swinging with all the violence, gets the 5LL starter. It's a short combo from Kefla, though. Doesn't really have some of the more high-level advanced super jump, uh, super dash re-jump routes, excuse me. So, but now Zio Pepe and Kasuka spend that spark early. We've been seeing them hold on to it, but now the pressure's on. It's tournament set time. So they are letting it rock early. They want to keep their entire teams intact. Bring them down into the Dragon Rush for the grounded hit. Full extension. That's a dead Jared. Immaculate Optimal. Yep, Jared in the dirt. And Jared just not putting in as much work as the, the previous games we saw him. So, like, definitely him getting neutralized has... Uh, has definitely changed the pace of how these matches are going. Mm -hmm, but Zio Pepe finds the beam, is going to convert with Vanish. Just, you know, old, old school reactions. Full Bombo as well here. Bring him down, goes for a little cheeky reset, and I love the delay tech from Kasuga. The barrier play again. Pepe is trying to get something started for themselves, but you have to bait out that incredible defensive resource on Kasuga's side. Here comes Labco. Oh! Okay. Oh, keeps going, looks for some more pressures, trying to find an opening. Looks for the donut. He just oh my keeps Lord. Kasuka in this corner. Great tech, making sure it doesn't get hit by that. Now Krillin. Ooh, rocks come out. God, just spending all his bar and all these specials, not able to uh, find any opening. And Kasuka should be able to take down and uh, put, the, put this rat in the dirt. <laughs> Don't forget the queen spin is on screen right now. This is the spin that's been terrorizing Dragon Ball fighters for the last year and a half. Gotenks take notes, but after image Annie here, gorgeous stuff. Chase's attack, not quite finding it. Commits the super dash, tried to 2H like we saw before, but the timing didn't work out this time. We're backing up, looking for a reversal, looking for some kind of poke. Reflect, 5H punish. Gorgeous from Kasuga. We get the re-jump as well. Delaying it for the extra corner carry. Bring him down. Here comes the setup. We chased up tech with a throw. We wait out both of the barriers. But there's debuff. I think this one's over. Yeah, it's a one versus three. And the debuff has been applied. But Pepe finds an opening. He's going to have to spend a good bit of cash if he wants the kill. Two Low bars? One. Two bars. Needs two bars. Okay, Pepe is in one-touch territory. Kasuga just needs to find the next hit, but it's Pepe's turn on offense. And the stagger, we did a convert from the 5M hit. Kasuga was trying to jump, and there it is, the fake cross-up. And we get the beam links as well, let's go. This is still nerf damage as well though. Basically canceling out the limit break. Run up. Oh my gosh, Pepe. Oh, and there it is, the barrier. The barrier. Kasuga puts an end to the Dream 1v3 comeback. Pepe was trying to do that Wade impression from earlier this year. That 1v3 was still one of the craziest things I've ever witnessed in Dragon Ball Fighters of not the craziest. But Kasuga, after being down the entire set, is finally up. And it is set point for Kasuga. Zio Pepe, I think, has been able to keep things close with the Gotenks and the Krillin, but like we've been saying, Jiren really hasn't been popping off and doing his bug-eye gray matter thing in the past couple of games, so he needs to, I think, if Zio wants a chance to make this a game 12, game 13 situation, he needs Jiren to play and to pop off. So let's see yeah. what happens here, my friends. Let's see if uh, Seihan's prophecy is true. Will it be 6-6? Six, six? Will Pepe be able to bring this game back? Or will Kasuga 
turn it up a notch and uh, confirm out this series. We want to see Zio Pepe take the turn after the count, after he ends it with the shoulder tackle, right? Kasuga has done nothing but respect that situation time and time again. So if Pepe just swung there, I wonder what things would look like instead. Although Kefla having the dash certainly impacts things a little bit. Zio Pepe, Jiren's getting a chance to play. He had an opening conversion that he didn't quite get, but he's had nothing but offense in his turn all the way through. And there it is, the raw tag. Gonna put a stop. Just continued to respect the Jiren. Really did not want to, didn't want to press, just went, all right, I'm just gonna block your mix and I, I'm just not gonna deal with it. So he's really gonna put all the resources in to try to get rid of this Jiren. Level three looks for the empty low, not quite though. And now is going to be able to find a little bit more pressure with his Jiren. As in blue life, probably wants to tag him out. Has got the bar as well. Looking for any kind of this mix, but gets mixed himself by that spin. Oh, but but Kasuga drops the combo. That's important. Jiren gets to play a little bit more. And there it is, finally, the counter. We haven't been seeing that from Pepe, but largely because Kasuga hasn't really been throwing out projectiles. Now here comes Ghost Oki. We go for a Reflect Bait setup, but we drop the combo again. Pepe, so many of these hits could be spelling a victory for him, but the Dragon Rush for the first time in games, I feel like, lands on Kasuga. Another set of Ghost Oki. This time finds his way out, Kasuga, but is hit by, I believe, the rocks there. And now... Yeah, yeah, Spark, uh, Super Dash into the rocks. Jiren Full combo sends him down. This should be enough. Yeah, it will be. He's going to send up the level one, level three with Gotenks, and Zio Pepe holds on to Jiren, keeps his spark, forces Kasuga to spend his, and now Kasuga is in a 2v3. He's got three bars to one and a half, and he also has lab coat 21. If she's got Mira to play with, this character is still a monster. Yep, and, uh, you know, Seahawks <laughs> Prophecy becoming. Uh, Closer and closer to being true with uh, Pepe taking down the first character this game. Did I just see Gotenks Fist clash with Beyblade and then beat the Beyblade? He's the one. He's the chosen one. He'll <laughs> save us all. I wouldn't say save. More like under new management. Here we go. <laughs> Six unblocked. Kasuga. The defense is starting to crack, though. The dragon rushes. They're going unteched. Pepe gets up to three bars. One bar for Ghost Oki. Oh my Ooh. lord! <laughs> Beautiful tech that, that time just spins all the way into the other side of the the stage, and now ooh, finds another opening. Pepe has the bar, looks for a reset, and finds the overhead, and that's a dead lab coat. Bring him down, spin on him, tag into Krillin, the Dragon Rush into Destructo Disc. It is now Kefla one v three. Again, Zio Pepe's very healthy team. Excellent job managing the resources. Had a few combos go awry, but still has been able to convert a lot of their opportunities. And now Kasuga needs to make this hit count. It's gonna do plenty of damage. We'll have the level three. Oh, doesn't want to. Saves it, and we mash on that. Pepe really said, I'm a mash right here, which makes so much sense. It's like, if I hit this mash, I win the game right now. If I get hit, I got two healthy characters in the back. We drop the combo, but Kasuga's whiffing into the CSS beam. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome out to game 13. Taz, you and I are doing overtime today. You and I are yeah. doing overtime. We're, we're going <laughs> max games, both sets. It's, it's, it's how it is sometimes. You, you know, we got, you know. Close sets, back and forth. I, I would like to thank all the players today for letting us filthy American invaders have as much screen time as literally possible. Now, if you could just end this one in a timeout, I think we'll be set, but <laughs> we'll see how that one goes. I've made my calls, my friends. Here it is, game 13, Kasuga versus Zio Pepe. My friends in the chat, if you are feeling like Kasuga is going to finally stop trolling and take this one, press one. But if you think Zio Pepe is going to prove to be the underdog, the Rockus is traded denying the happy birthday. Are you kidding me? What is this plot armor? Hit two, chat, for Zio Pepe. Hit two. <laughs> Oh, finds the dash behind and is able to find an opening for himself. Kasuga is going to have to put all of his resources into getting rid of this Jiren. Tags out into the Gotenks and Kasuga 
Just gonna hit whatever's in front of him. Has three bar, doesn't want to spend it. Doesn't value that Oki from Kefla's level three too much. And now Gotenks gets the gets his turn and finds an opening. Yep, and that was off of a raw jump in as well. Kasuga has been respecting the jump ins. There's been so many 6Ms and other things being shown in the Spartan pressure that finally, like the layer one of Spark mix up that everybody learns when they pick up the game, finally connects. Dio Pepe now gets the level three knockdown. Are we going to see his Spark bait? We do. Kasuga holds to the right moment, and there it is. Labco 21 A assist coming out after the command dash. Kasuga now is going to be able to start equalizing things. Has seven bar a meter. Do you want to spend any of this cash? Yes. And we're probably going to Android 18 level three immediately after the level one. What side is it going to be? Cross up. All right, same side. Oh, oh, the missed scope. time the throw. Kasuga, the throws have just not been working. And there it is, right? Level one, level one. But Krillin, because he didn't get hit by Android 18's level one, is able to get out the raw attack from Jiren. Goes unchecked. And there it is, that extra low, we've stopped blocking the ankles. Pepe's Jiren is going to take the beating now. we got the stomp loops on deck. 5H into the backspin. Look for the throw on the wake up. Krillin gets caught. Krillin's going to die, actually. Yeah, it's going to take a good bit of damage for that unsafe level one and get sent into this it goes to Oki now. And so let's see what Pepe can get going. Fakes oh, the reflect! Is that was Beautiful so high stuff. level. Jet Pepe says, a character for a character, eh? You want to kill my Zenzu Bean Daddy? I'm going to kill your lab coat mommy. Bring him down, Pepe. That's that combo! This time, still tech that Dragon Rush. Pepe, you're insane. Guard cancel vanished. Kasuga had a cancel coming through over the button, but not quite the one. Full staggers. Gotenks beam. The overhead catches the double overhead. We weren't able to convert for the kill. Tags oh, the barrier, but the 5M is not And that's enough to take down the Jiren. It's just the Go Tanks. They've got. This lab coat is bleeding in the back. Has to be very careful with when he calls that assist. Yeah, he's probably just not going to do it. He's going to rely on the barrier neutral from 18 as well as Kefla to get most of this job done. Go Tanks offense has started. We go for the fake cross up, but it doesn't land. Pepe gets a hit. We're going to get the Vanish Confirm off of it as well. Pepe is trying to make this go as hard as he can. Bring him down. Get the setup again. Oh, we anti-aired as well. This could be a full combo into kill. It's Pepe, you've had a couple of sloppy confirms this set, but now is the time that you need to tighten it up, and he does. 18 is dead. I think Kefla is at a one-touch situation if he gets the right hit. If it's a clean hit, it should be enough, and that's a beam. It's going to be a good bit of damage. Brings him back down. Not enough for the kill, but definitely breathing through a straw now. Kefla going to take the to turn back. He reflected the assist. He tried to bust out, but the range of Kefla's normals were able to keep Pepe in check. Going to see the level one into level three here. Pepe has to guess right in order to stay alive here at Wanted. This is crazy. This is crazy. Goes for the cross. Dodge the level three. And that is it. Kasuga <sighs> takes it. Seven, six. What a set of Dragon Ball fighters. Kasuga going around the world trying to find the team until he finally landed on what's probably his main team. Android 18, Labco 21.